motherfucking year where they done fucked the game again. NBA 2K22 next gen is It is absolutely And I'm sick and tired of fucking playing this shit. You mean to tell me that every time I finish a park game or every time I'm about to start a park game or a fucking rec game, I literally get a fucking error code. Every single time I go to play a park game or a rec game or I do anything other than play 3v3 fucking pro am, I get fucking error coded. I spent $100 for this pre-order. A hundred dollars. I also spent a hundred dollars on making bills on this trash game. Now ask me, yo, grinder for real. Why did you make? Why did you have to make another bill? Your six six was a go because every single time a lockdown gets in front of me, they don't have to play no fuck defense. All they have to do is hit fuck square and they take the ball from me over and over and over and over again i'm sick of it bro nba 2k22 i'm about to hang that shit up y'all can't never get the game right y'all can never do this it's been covid this whole time and you mean to tell me y'all still have not got this game in order y'all still ain't got it in order i am sick and fucking tired of giving you at NBA 2K, my motherfucking bread, bro. Y'all finna stop robbing me. I'm tired of it, bro. Y'all are the worst company that I've ever seen in my. Y'all don't ever get it together. Y'all can't never get it together. You got all these coming in my chat. Well, if you don't like next gen, go to current gen. I'm not going no current gen. I didn't pay my bread to go to no current gen. I paid my bread to get a PS5 to play next generation basketball, and guess what? It's f worse. Now that boy grinding for real was spitting straight facts in that video, man. A lot of people share the same exact sentiment with NBA 2K right now. I mean, it's just frustrating. Like, the game is good. It's a good game. And when you do get around the locks and you do get around the zigzag left and right and all that good stuff, man, it still feels just like it doesn't matter because even when you endure all of that and win a game, you still gonna get error coded and get kicked out, man. And a lot of people feel that same way. They just feel that 2K has given us an inferior product and it's just there's just no excuse for it. Well, I'm here to tell you today, check it out. 2K has dropped a major update today. And, uh, you know, I hopped on today, took a look at this joint, man. I think it was about 700, 700 megabytes or so. And, uh, and you see how I'm trying to move so fast because my internet is eating that joint alive, man. But like I said, check it out. They dropped the update today. And uh, really, the only thing that we got on it was, uh, you know, like I said, big, hold on, first, first things first, big shout out to Grinding for real, man. Like he, he got some, some good content. Go check that guy out. I checked, the, uh, I checked to see if I could find the update stuff. And uh, this is pretty much what I found. NBA 2K Next Gen update is live. Let me know if it helps with the error codes and freezing and stuff like that. And um, like I said, we have a lot of people in here asking about how big is it, you know, 700 megabytes and all that good, good stuff. One dude said 301 or what have you. One guy, and it's just a lot of things that people are going through on here where they're talking about. Like this one guy says, well, my game, uh, my game, NBA, my NBA game crashed at halftime on next gen Xbox. So hopefully a patch comes out on there too. It's unplayable right now. Now that's something that I had no idea that my that my NBA, I didn't even, first of all, I didn't know that my NBA was a very popular mode, but second, I didn't know that it was one that was crashing uh, like that, like it was in this state. I hate that for anybody because, um, because like when you're going through something like that, it's crazy. Uh, one dude, one dude just says, uh, just been booted off twice, downloading the patch now. So maybe that's why he got booted was because he was downloading the patch or what have you. A lot of the, the bottom line is the stability issues with the game, they were already fragile and very temperamental where we had to go in. Uh, let's say on, on the first day we had to go in change our uh get rid of the friends list get your friend list on the 99 once you got it on the 99 you could play because at first you would get on there as soon as you hit the city you couldn't do anything it would just kick your xbox off uh the second thing we noticed was we were getting kicked out of the wreck uh it was turning xboxes off and stuff like that in the wreck now that was common last year inside of the inside of like the event center would turn your thing off but in the wreck no nah. and then we we, we losing people we want to play with people i want to play with my boy ticket big supporter all that stuff man but it's, it's just not the case right now because 
who are getting kicked out of wreck. So hopefully all of that's fixed. Uh, I just changed, you, as, you, as you can tell when you leave a park, you change servers, but uh, hopefully as you can see here, I'm skating along and it does seem a lot, a lot smoother. Uh, everything's a little bit smoother. Everything's running a little bit better. I think when you change these servers, when you cross certain ports, points or portals, um, you know, you're gonna do that, but it is what it is. Now, what we did have here is some unofficial patch notes right here, man. It's just the NBA, uh, NBA update version patch 1.5 revealed. Let me make sure this thing got the right date, man. Yep, September 2021. Um, and like I said, man, here we go. Yet another NBA 2K22 patch has arrived, and this time it's uh it's on next gen, getting a handful of quick fixes based on the patch notes from 1.5. So the patch notes from 1.5, I guess they just they just showing us um you know what it was, but this is what they said in 1.5, and uh I, I really didn't I really didn't see a whole lot of stuff. So this is what they said in 1.5. Additional additional stability uh, improvements. Uh, ongoing effort to you know, whatever, man. They didn't do the fix the issue where the city online games would disconnect before and after uh, the game started. I mean, that still happened. Like it got worse after they did it. So hopefully that's that's the case. Addressing an error code issue was that's preventing my career uh, saves from being able to load in the city. All right, that's cool. Significantly so improved loading speed. They did do that, the loading speed and reentry, because what we were doing we, was we were going in, play the game, get kicked out, come right back in, and we were good. Uh, improved frame rate navigating the city. Obviously, we could see that traditional uh, broadcast cameras uh, now available. That's cool. Fix an issue where that resulted in some my NBA online saves overwriting uh other pre pre-existing says okay that's cool gym rat on court coach badges are now correctly being applied to all badge loadouts so that's cool um they took mine but then left it so they kind of they know we'll teach you to make some videos sucker you won't make videos huh uh increase the velocity required to perform uh player jumps falls into the first row okay so that was the thing with a dude fell into the first row and the dj booth will no longer allow so pretty much we got some notes like I said, man, like these are these are the updated notes, but those are the notes that were based on the patches. What I really want to talk to y'all about, man, is this. Y'all let me know, man. Cause like I said, we got that, we got that. They're saying stability issues. I've been watching Mo Buckets all morning after the update. His update is good. He's able to play the game and he's good to go. Um hadn't error coded out. None of that stuff has happened. He's been he's been cool. Um, as far as I can see, I'm gonna go to his stream right now and kind of just have him. I'm just gonna watch while while I'm while I'm doing this. But I haven't seen him get error coded or kicked out of anything since the patch. So kudos to 2K for that because we're gonna call him out when they do something bad. We gotta call him. We gotta congratulate them when they do something well. But the question to you guys is, plucks versus left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Hannah, like, what do y'all think about it, man? Do the plucks need to be toned down? or is everything fine right now? I'm playing devil's advocate, and I'm just gonna say like this. Look, if you change one, I feel like you have to change both. Because right now, you got the people on defense. We feel like our only, I mean, you know, defenders feel like their only recourse against somebody spam dribbling in their face, just, <laughs> and just, just Kyrie, you know what I'm saying? Just Kyrie it up, man. A lot of people feel like their only recourse again, that's Mo Buckets right there, man. A lot of people feel like their only recourse against that is to be able to uh, to steal the ball. Like, you can't just dribble in my face, bro. Like, I get that. And like the poke outs from behind and stuff like that, I love all of that, man. Like, if I'm on the right hand, if you got the ball in your right hand, I'm on you on your left, I mean, I can pick it, get in there, line my left hand up. I should be able to knock that out probably almost every time, right? Um, if you just spam dribbling in my face and you're tired, I should be able to get that if I can time it properly. I'm cool with that. Uh, but the thing is, a lot of the people that are actually dribbling, they don't like it. But the only thing I can say to them is like, like I said, we, if we change one, we gotta change both because the people on this side, on the defensive side feel like, well, if I can't do that, I'm not really gonna be able to play defense because I don't know if you guys have seen the left, right, and the zoom left, right, and the zoom in, Bro, it is ridiculous what you're able to do in this game right now as far as speed boosting and stuff. Now, we found ways to stop it. If you can stay disciplined, you can not reach, you can do all this stuff. Yeah, you can play good defense. But when you're playing against somebody that's really, really good, you're going to have to give up something. They're either going to get the three or they're going to get the drive. Like, we're going to give up the drive and we're going to hope that we can get threes, but it's just crazy. 
how it is. So I feel like if they change one, they got to change both. Because if they take away the plucks and turn those down, then now you're going to have people coming out with the bigs dribbling, 6-7 is going to be dribbling, everybody's going to be dribbling because unpluckable on silver will be good enough to keep you from getting plucks. And then from, from a Hall of Fame badge, and uh, and people are just going to feel like, damn, man, I can dribble with anybody now, and then we're going to go back to 2K 2021, and everybody's going to hate it. Conversely, if they leave the plucks and take away the left-right speed boost, then those guys have nothing with which to protect themselves. Like, that's really the only way. To, because let's be honest. If you're a dribbler out there, tell me if I'm telling the truth. Is it really the only way that you can really get away from these spammers is to just play straight up keep away with the ball? You got to play keep away. Just don't let them get close to you. I got to dance all day, not let them get close to me. And then maybe I can find the angle to get to the basket or whatever. Just let me know. Because... If they change one, they got to change both. But I feel like if they change both, they take away that super speed boost laterally and they turn down the plucks, then that's still going to be a breeding ground for everybody being able to handle the ball. And we're going we gonna to go back to some very dark times in the game, I feel like, because to be honest, I'm already seeing play glasses out there. And I know these play glasses, the only thing they're waiting on is, oh yeah, as soon as, as soon, as soon as they drop the dribbling, I mean, as they, as they drop the plucks, I'm going to be out there, and I'm going to be using this play. Hey, I seen Soul Luminati pretty much doing it the other day. Look, I seen Gamer having a guard a dude like that the other day. Now, if that dude can be the main ball handler because you just can't steal the ball, I feel like we're going to go back to a bad place in 2K. I say, this is what I say. Leave it all right where it is. Maybe take away some of the launch animations with the plucks, but the ones that make sense, leave those how it is. Or just do it by threshold. If a guy has really high dribbling, just don't let them be able to get plucked easily. But the guys that have lower dribbling, I don't know what their threshold should be. But if they got lower dribbling, then they should be able to get plucked. Anyway, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Uh, it's, a, it's a crazy debate. And I know a lot of people are on both sides. And nobody really wants to give any ground. So I say 2K, lead the game just how it is. We'll figure it out. I'm enjoying it. Let me know if you're enjoying it. Tell me what build you got down there. Tell me uh, if you're still getting error codes after this whole thing. And uh, tell me what side are you on. Should they reduce plucks? Should they take out the speed boost or should they just leave it just like it is and let us figure it out? Because we really don't know what state the game is in because we haven't been able to play this joint, man. <laughs> anyway, I'm out of y'all next time, man. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Guys, speak. Guys, speak.